Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> My name is Bharat. Today we are checking out some interesting things. Lots of interesting things. Bahut saare, bahut zada mushakkat ke baad abe mile hai. Are we going to check them out today in uh, this video? And also we probably break this into two videos because we have a ton of stuff that's been waiting and uh, collecting. Pura conference room bhar chuka hai. To ab bari hai unko unbox karne ki. To aap dekh rahe hain. Aaj gan aur ab ham shuru karne wale hain. Aaj ka prastuti. So this is a bottle. How is this a gadget? It's a bottle. So these are basically vacuum insulated bottles and these are really cool bottles. And this is a 64 ounce, which is about 1900 milliliters, about two liters. So it says uh, that it keeps it cold for up to 36 hours and hot for up to 13 hours. So it's a double, triple layer insulated stainless steel on the inside. So you do have a straw and a sipper, which is really convenient. I actually do have a bottle like this from another brand that's not available in India. So we got this one and I think I paid about 3000 for the two liter and I also purchased the one liter one. So the two liter one, 3599 and approximately one liter. Ke liye 2499, so 2499, so expensive bottles but uh, really high quality i'm assuming i haven't tested them yet in fact let's clean this out and we'll put some water in it Bonnie. so we've got this cleaned out and uh, we're going to fill it up with coldest water. the coldest water so these are both one liter bottles and it's supposed to be less than one liter i mean two liters Clearly you can add two liters of water in this, the coldest water. So there are two advantages. First of all, not only does it keep it cool, but because it keeps it cool and it's insulated, uh, there is no sweating. So you will not have any watermarks on your desk or whatever. This is obviously uh, overpowered size, but they do have a larger, like a <laughs> They do have a larger bottle as well, which is more like a gallon. So about four and a half liters. And uh, that is also available in India now, which is cool. Let's take a sip of the coldest water. So the breather valve is a little noisy. Now it's not. I think if the bottle is slightly... So that's definitely a good way to drink water. It's also convenient because like the bottle is big, you don't want to sort of tilt it over every time. Uh, this way you can just open this up and... Partizano! <laughs> The breather all makes a noise sometimes when you immediately start drinking it. So it's a pretty good size and I needed it for the full day. It's obviously not enough water for the full day, uh, but it's good to have this because you can take it wherever and this is good. And we actually have a product that we ordered, hopefully it's here, that we can attach to this to make it a little more useful. But that's it. If you guys are interested, they're available in tons of colors, tons of sizes. And uh, they're also available in smaller sizes. So if you want to carry one to the gym or whatever, you can do that. In fact, this is a pretty good size for a gym bottle, but it's totally up to you if you want to carry a two liter heavy bottle to the gym. It is expensive. So don't tell me in the comments that it's too expensive because it is expensive, but it should be worth it. I'll test it out. So this is also something really cool and handy uh, that you can have around uh, the office, uh, which will make it really useful to not only uh, sort of charge things because it is technically a long version of a USB-C cable. But this one is cool because you can plug this in on this side. And when you plug this in on the other side, this has a display here and it'll show you how much wattage your phone is charging at. So all these phone companies, they have these claims where they show you the wattage and they want to tell you that this is the wattage that the phone is charging at. You can actually challenge their claims and you can get up to a hundred watt output uh, listed here on this cable. So as the phone increases in uh, wattage uh, of consumption, you can see that over here. 
pretty cool thing to have just so that you know what water is the phone is consuming. If your phone is dead and it's not powering on, you can see whether or not it's charging. So it could be something to do with the charging port, it could be something to do with the battery, but you can diagnose that as well. Plus this is a cool thing to have on a power cable, definitely something uh, cool. And this one is also a thousand rupees. So we'll have a link to this in the description below. I got this a while back. Uh, but we never really showed it off. So this is something that you guys can go check out. So let's check out the next product. So <laughs> this is what I was actually referring to. This is actually something that you can see what it does. It's a carabiner clip, uh, but it's a dual sided carabiner clip and we have them in different sizes here as well. And this is actually not something that I bought now. It's something that I've owned for a while and I've owned them in different sizes and they're extremely useful, especially if you're somebody who travels a lot or is on the go all the time. Uh, this is great for not only things like these, uh, but also for if you have a backpack, if you go into the washroom, uh, what are you going to do with the backpack? You want to hang it somewhere, right? You don't want to put it on the floor because the floor could be dirty. So this is something that can come in useful for that. Now they're available in a few sizes and uh, they're not designed for climbing or any of the carabiner activities. So don't even attempt that, but it does have a mention of how much weight it can take. So this one, for example, it says can take 100 pounds or about 45 kilograms. Uh, this one can take uh, 34 kilograms and so on. So this one is uh, the largest one that I own and it's pretty convenient. I usually use it to carry headphones or something like that and clip them onto a backpack or a bag. So these are definitely recommended. They're called the S Biner. I'll have links to these if I can still find them in India in the description below, but highly recommended. It's these accessories. Hmm. So these are replacement ear cups for headphones. And clearly we've got a bright child here. So they're available in a few sizes and options and colors and stuff. So this one is blue. And uh, this one I believe is a sheepskin. So this is like one of those real leather ones, which is really nice. And uh, then you can get them for like really high end headphones as well. So if you have those large over the ear type headphones, so you can get those for this. And uh, it's really soft. You can also use this as a travel pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice and soft and um, this is a good replacement. So yeah, you can see that uh, they're also available in this soft sort of velour, I don't know, felt, whatever this is. This is like really soft velvety sort of thing, not velvet. This is actually velour. So you can get them in this size, uh, this material, you can get them in uh, this leatherite and you can get them in sheepskin as well. So you can swap these out uh, quite easily. So if you want uh, a different color or like a different uh, type of material, you can get both of those. Uh, and again, like I said, these are good to replace out old pads, but if you also have like PU or leatherite pads and they're not comfortable for you, you can get these velour ones. These are super comfortable. Uh, or you can get these sheepskin ones as well, uh, which is really good and very comfortable to wear on the ear. So definitely go check these out. Uh, they're a good replacement irrespective of whether you need new head pads or not, uh, because uh, some headphones can get really warm and this, if you get this velour one, this one is a good replacement for that. So this next product is actually quite interesting and it appears to be also open. So let's see. Muslin bag, useful because I can make almond milk in it. So this is like a desk sort of caddy. So you have a place to keep your pens, your knives, <laughs> your key rings, your astronauts, no. So uh, you can put stuff in this and then it also has a phone stand. So really nice desk caddy. It actually goes on this table quite well, doesn't it? And then below that also is some soft space. So you can have things in here as well. Deadpool doesn't fit, sheepskin head phone cups you can put down there and uh, like I said you can have your phone here the good thing is that there is a cutout in this thing so if I want to sort of route my cable through I can do that as well and I can have this as a charging station as well so that's definitely handy it is heavy so is it metal it appears to be metal it's definitely well made and I believe you can get these in a few colors as well so let me see so this is priced at 2,499 and uh, it's expensive. Again, these are expensive things here, guys. It's too expensive, but uh, it's a really well-made desk caddy. And if you want 
to gift somebody a really nice desk accessory. It's got real wood here. It appears to be some bamboo, but uh, really nicely made. So definitely worth the price, I feel, but everyone has their own perspective. But if you guys are interested in this, we'll have a link to their website because uh, this is not available on Amazon yet. Uh, but if it is available on Amazon, I'll have an Amazon link for you guys as well. So go check it out. So as a segment, we are now going to show you things that uh, we've uh, bought apart from uh, you know, the online stuff. So we are also going to show you some gear that we are using now. So let's check out uh, this one. So this is the DJI Action 2. You've probably seen enough uh, reviews for this. So this is more like a purchase a decision that we made. It's actually a really cool camera. I played with it a little bit. I haven't set it up too much, but uh, basically you have a display and you have a camera module that also has a display on the back and you basically snap these on. These are extremely magnetic as you can see. And the minute you do that, it should sort of have the ability to power on. I don't know which button is the power button. Okay, yeah, so the screen comes on and uh, when you tap on this screen, you can control all the menus from here. Very nice and responsive and you do have an ultra wide uh, lens over here. So you can get a really nice shot and uh, the lens is an f2.8 and it's a one over 1.7 inch sensor as well. So fairly big and you have a 155 degree field of view, but you can see that there's a front facing camera as well. So great for doing like a vlog or something. And uh, if you tap on this screen, you can unlock this screen and you start using this side of the screen and then this screen becomes locked. And then when you come here, you can unlock this screen and you start using this and this screen becomes locked. So that way you're not sort of interfering with your own self. And then you have these really cool accessories as well. So this one I find is really interesting. So this goes like this, and then you can hang it around your neck. So you can have like POV shots of whatever. Uh, so like a necklace, like a POV camera. And uh, then you have uh, these as well. So you have a charging cable, USB to USB type C. And uh, then you have this as well. This is also magnetic, which is cool. So this is like an action camera mount. So you can basically, uh, Put it on like this and it locks into place. It's not just a magnet, but there's also locks. So now it works as an action camera. Pop on this ball head mount and then you can also have it positioned. And this has a tripod thread over here and then you get a sticky mount as well. So you screw this on like so and you can sort of stick it into place. We have a 128 gigabyte uh, Samsung micro SD card in there. Uh, but you do need a fast micro SD card if you're planning on recording in higher frame rates. So in uh, 1080p, you can get up to 240 frames per second. But if you go up in resolution, you can go to 4K and you get uh, 120 FPS uh, in 4K, which is really, really good. If you're uh, sort of recording video uh, front facing, you can do that as well. And it has pretty decent built-in microphones. So we thought that we'll show you uh, some new gear uh, that we are going to try. And uh, we've got some more uh, that we'll probably show you in the next video. So stay tuned for that one as well. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like, hit the subscribe, don't hit anybody else, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.